It did, it did, it did. Welcome back to I'm Down. No, we gotta call this. Welcome back. Well, Tori's name has Quarantine Radio. So I want to really? have one too. Yeah, now I'm just being a hater. I want to have Quarantine one Down. Quarantine Down or something like that. Quarantine is down or oh up or on. I don't know what the correct term is. How long have we been in this uh, life, bro? I don't know, but a month, right? It's been like a month? Mm, a little less, bro. <laughs> oh, I've been working from home since March 16th, so almost a month. I've been working Three from weeks. home since March 16th. <laughs> Well, all right. First of all, okay. So you're seeing a whole new setup right now. Hey, we got we got kicked out of our studio. Yeah, literally kicked out. So now <laughs> we didn't pay our lease because quarantine. I thought they were gonna wait three months, and they didn't wait three months. They lied to us. The exactly. government is a liar. Exactly. So now we're in this new place called what do you want to call this? The this black studio? wall. All right, the black wall. We're in the black. Oh, the wall. black box. You know what is, is that? What is uh, that? What they call it? The the workout dudes. You know oh, how we call the box? Like uh, people who do oh, CrossFit? Oh, uh, CrossFit, CrossFit. There we go. The, the box. Bo- so All right. the black box. The black box. For because I'm down. it's endless possibilities. Endless possibilities. Um, Okay, real people. You know, we're going to get this show on the road for right show, now. For show. So, um, Reckless Shooter of the Week. You got one? No, I think you got a good one right now. You just told me, right? I just told you it. But, um, okay, okay. a better one. It was. You yeah. I, one? Th- I, I don't know if I have a better one. I think you sent that one to me too, but I got to see. <laughs> Um, now the, the one we're talking about is uh saying wait, wait I, I got it, I got it. Saying JK after sex so you stay a virgin. That's that was a pretty girl. good. That was, no, but this this was funny. So this guy took it off, but I still have it here. It says just got kicked out of online church for typing F Satan. <laughs> <laughs> he says, What the F? I thought we all hated that nigga. <laughs> so that's uh, that, I think you're allowed to do the N word on YouTube, right? Am I? No, I think we always have the discussion, do we? Can you know we? What? Look, bro, I don't yeah, know what the yeah, restrictions I mean, are. I just put not for kids on the thing, and we're gonna be odd, all right? <laughs> um, they actually wild, right though, bro. bro. The N word, okay? The wild as well. You know that'd be funny though if I if I was broadcasting a church service online, <laughs> okay? Oh, uh, and I saw that. I think like if I was like the production team, right? Not the pastor. The pastor, yeah. I would have to be serious and like. The whole production team. I think I might let that slide in the newsletter at the bottom of the ticker. <laughs> like, let that slide. Yeah, you just gotta let it. Because that'll be awesome. Imagine you're watching That's from your bad. home in YouTube. You're watching this service, like, you know, praise the Lord and receive it. Yeah. And then F. Wait, wait, all right. Be honest, be honest. Serious moment. If you were if you were dealing with production and you were to see that, what is your reaction? What I'm, are you doing? I'm laughing to death. Like, are you really? Like, yeah, straight up. Because first of all, you know what I said? I remember now that tweet. I, I, was, I was at work. And I literally burst out laughing like loud, yeah, and yeah, everybody's yeah. looking at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, it's it, Twitter, guys. It, it's it's just, Twitter, guys. It is, it's it like, is what it is. Because yo, imagine that you're in a. Because um, I've heard the joke when people would be like at church services, yeah, like yeah. that. But imagine if you're in an online service, people and just commenting see, like "Amen" and whatever. Yeah, exactly. But now I want to know: Does this stay on? Like, so you know how Instagram Live, mm-hmm. you can write comments, and it, does it go through, or do you think it just stayed there? Like, like how does that work? I, I, like, I'm example, assuming like, they're watching on on YouTube, and it's just like you know how you can comment mm-hmm. on YouTube Live, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of like Instagram Live. Uh-huh. I think that's how they were doing but it. Does it pass, or you don't know? Uh, it, they should uh, no, obviously. Production has to decide what is portrayed on the screen itself, uh, but on the YouTube comments, it's gonna be their visible. It's gonna be damn, yeah. That's pretty. I ain't gonna. That's pretty bad. That that'd be hilarious, pretty, bro. I guess. I, I guess. It, I don't even think it, even if you're like at a hip church though. Like, yeah. like it's hilarious when you see it, but like if you're there in the moment and you're part of production, yeah, yeah. You, you're bro, like scratching your head, like so bad. Yeah, you're like, because yeah, you automatically like. Oh snap! Uh, yeah, let me take that. You yeah, definitely not yeah, laughing. Yeah, no, now, no, see somebody like me. I look at that. I'm like, bro, that's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. super hilarious. But I don't know if that's possible. I don't know. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Are, are, we, are we good Christians? Are we rejecting this? I'm, nah. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Ever since this quarantine stuff, though, it's a lot less. Um, like a lot less stuff going on. Period. Yeah. You know I mean? People aren't down. complaining no more, which is, I guess, like a plus in a way. But then again, it takes away from like. Just the stuff that I usually send you, right? Yeah. Which is like, oh, look at this person complaining about yeah. this or this yeah. person. You get me? So it's like. But I did see a, a tweet today where it's like, um, I think it's SpongeBob. And he has a book. And on one side was uh, wanting to be home like everybody else. Uh-huh. And on the other side was being grateful that I have a job. Uh-huh. And I think at like, the top was like being an essential worker. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? That's kind of the mood right now. Yeah. Like, like if you're not working, you're like mini vacation. But I'm screwed because I have bills. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. if you're working, you're like everybody else is home and I'm working. Yeah. And then there's people like us. Well, me. I think I have like the best of both worlds. Okay. Because I'm rotating weeks. Yeah. <laughs> so I go to week. Well, and I, yeah. And then there's yeah. you who really have the best of 
the world the where one world you're working from home uh-huh. for like the foreseeable future yes but i mean look honestly i'm gonna be honest with everyone um if you guys have hopes that we're gonna stop this april 30th i don't i, I don't, don't think, think so. it's gonna stop april 30th so. i think i think, think, I think we'll be lucky if we get to june bef- like before yeah. it dies down yeah i mean this is i mean the, i so this is how i look at it right so the upside to this is that bro you're gonna be able to save a whole lot of money at mm-hmm. this point right unless you're like me ordering a lot of postmates a lot of uber eats and you're spending a whole lot of yeah, money on bro. that that's wild yeah, even, even gotta, if they waive the fees yeah, but I mean, <laughs> bro, let's be honest, that's, it's nothing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, those little fees don't add up to, like, all the so food. all the so, food you're actually going to spend. So, yeah, yeah. so if, if you're one of those people who, I mean, because realistically, even if you're not good with your money, there's no way you could spend money right now. Like, I don't see it. Unless yeah. you're online shopping, yeah. which I still don't understand why you'll be online shopping no, no, at this but point. Honestly, but honestly, online shopping is crazy cheap right now, bro. Oh, crazy is it? Well, I haven't even, I haven't like, even checked. I, I guess because these stores know that no one's going to be at the store for yeah, the foreseeable yeah. future. Yeah. Dude, I, I saw, like, most stores that I usually shop at were fifty percent of almost everything. Dang. I saw some uh, some Nikes going for like thirty bucks. I saw some Jays going for like fifty bucks. Really? Yeah, I was like, if I was like you know really invested in the shoe game again, I'd be like, yo, this is the like moment. I'm out of when the, the tax when the taxes come in. <laughs> it's like, well, taxes are expected to one yeah. to June. Now? June. Oh, well, you better get on that. Yeah, are are those it. people even working? Like, those, yeah, well, I mean, I, yeah, I was, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Just like right? the, yo, they, home, they right? crashed. Think about it. Look, look how crazy things is. Uh, the unemployment server crashed. Really? Yeah, because so many people were uh, online trying to file. Yeah. So they even made like uh, they made a bill to or whatever. The, I think it's a bill to be able to accept unemployment through physical, like filling out sheets. Oh, gotcha. Like yeah. actually, because yeah, and yeah. and FedEx and and USPS, they all they all promise that they will make sure it gets delivered. Gotcha. Because so many people are filing for unemployment, they crashed the server. Think about that. Damn, bro. So it's like it's getting like it's serious. It's like serious it's like here. legit. Um, you know, for the rest of us that still have a job, be thankful. Yeah, it for sucks, sure. but be thankful. For um, sure. It's just funny out here. Like I don't know what to yeah. do with my life, bro. Because we really don't leave our house. I, and, and I, I think your reflection of purchasing was true. We were just having a conversation that I, I forgot how much I used to spend on coffee. Mm-hmm. Because for the last couple of weeks, I've been making my own coffee, which I think everybody should. Um, but I, I I almost cried spending money, even though I used to spend it all the time. Yeah, it's because you, you start forgot to like the feel reality. It. Yeah, you forgot the reality of that. You got you got no mm-hmm. notes. You got some interesting stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to go through this real quick because um, I'm trying to see like before we get off. Let me see something. Stay focused. Mm-hmm. Stay on track. Wait, wait, wait. All right, guys. What's the first thing you're doing when you leave quarantine? First thing. Oh, okay. actually, uh, w- go off of that. What's the first thing you want to do? Haircut, ASAP. Yes. Number two. Hopefully, I get that before quarantine's over. Going to three coffee shops. Three of my favorite coffee shops the same day. Just because I'm allowed to leave my house and yeah. hang out at a coffee shop. Like, just yeah. hang out at the coffee shop. Yeah, yeah. Like, get a, cu- a cup of coffee for the morning, just hang out. Mm-hmm. Go to lunch, get another cup of coffee. And go yeah. to dinner, get another get cup of coffee. Cup of yeah. or, or go, like, go to Crust or something like that. Yeah. yeah like, a nice restaurant yeah. for dinner. So something just, just yeah. for sure. Um, Honestly, so I've, been, I've kind of, okay, so I guess for the most part, though, I haven't really shut down everything that I've been doing. Like, so, like, before quarantine, I was kind of just chilling at my house drinking wine just vibing out watching movies i'm still doing that i guess the only difference is i'm not going to the gym obviously i'm not going to work i'm not getting <coughs> my weekly haircuts which yeah. sucks yeah. but uh probably the first thing i want to do bro is probably just like like you said just hang out like at, at some public place go get or dinner Bistro, bro. Go, for sure go back to Cine something. Bistro, something like you know just to kind of get that rampage that rampage going yeah because mm-hmm. like bro it, it's you be at your house too much. Like I, it, it's funny, too, because usually what I'll do is, like, I'll be bored. I'll be like, you know what? Let me see what Cinebistro got, right? I'll go through Cinebistro. And, like, right now, first of all, all the movies that I was looking forward to are all postponed. Black Widow, postponed, so I don't to, even know yeah. when. James Bond, postponed, postponed, postponed to, like, November. November, which is horrible. Yeah. Um, The movie with uh, uh The Rock, uh The Jungle Cruise or whatever that was uh-huh, supposed to come uh-huh. out. The Disney summer. Jungle Cruise? Postponed to Blunt? next year, uh, summer, which is that yeah, sucks. Yeah. But uh, yeah, a lot of movies I really wanted to watch, I'm not gonna be able to watch. So for sure, I'm trying to. And uh, I guess those up to date things. Yeah. So towards the end of the year, if the thing is over, hopefully by then it's over because China's already good. Yeah, supposedly. Support right, you know, China got China that fake news stuff. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, let's see, man. Like, hopefully, bro, these movies at least a lot of them come back. You know, what I'm saying like towards the end of yeah. the year, because. But but I I like I do like the adjustment that uh some of these movie, whatever platforms are doing. Where you get to rent the digital movie for like twenty bucks and you get to watch it at home. Oh uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, or or like for example, if you guys have, haven't watched Onward, go watch Onward on uh, the Pixel 
Pixar movie. Yeah. Um, that is now on Disney Plus and whatever else. It's a really that. good movie. Uh, but you know, at first what they did is they released it for twenty bucks if you wanted to watch it, and then they ended up releasing it just on Disney Plus. Uh, if general. you have a membership, yeah. uh, I think that that is smart. I think that that is good. It's allowing us to to have a little new thing. I also I realized that Netflix is. is Putting putting more more shows yeah. up quickly, yeah, because they're realizing the need for people to just have something to watch. Yeah, it's a demand right now. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, so uh, you know, I, I I do appreciate that that for the most part, everybody, you know, including the greedy people that usually tend to be greedy people, Hollywood and whatever, yeah. are adjusting to the fact that everybody needs to be home. So they're yeah. making a, a way into you know they don't lose profit and we get what we want to see. But yeah, definitely James Bond. Looking forward to that and is postponed for sure. Um, I guess okay. So I asked a question earlier this mm-hmm. week about um actually probably was last week but uh, it was essentially you know ask us questions right mm-hmm. so brie this was for you so she said um uh, our thoughts on the the drake song the new drake song oh, t- so t- I, I guess we can get that one out the way right now what do you think your thoughts your your it's your make some money on tiktok song it is not a good drake song it is catchy which let's be honest, every name a Drake song that isn't catchy. Yeah. Even the bad ones. Drake is the Chico. master goat of yeah. playback music. Yeah. You're gonna play that song because it's gonna get caught in your head and you're gonna repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. And it's all about the hype. It's all about TikTok. It's understanding that people are gonna do more TikToks because they're home. So he's gonna profit of all these plays uh, and all these streams. So definitely for me, it's not a good song if you're asking for my musical taste. Mm-hmm. But it is gonna be a song that we're all gonna be singing, because it's gonna be repeated. Yeah. Um, I uh, as far as like the the like you said, it is a catchy song. I like the dance to it. I can see um, you know, you kind of like swagging it mm. out, doing different things to it. Uh, as far as the song itself, it ain't like a banger. It's not like oh, bro, Drake snapped on this. I still don't know what he's talking about in the song because I haven't actually like heard the lyric for lyric mm. the whole thing. Um. But uh, the so far I've seen all the challenges, and you're right. It might be one of those things. The only thing is this though. Is not like at least from what I'm seeing is okay. So the first dance song that Drake had um, last year was uh, in in my feelings, mm-hmm. right? But it just happened, right? Like, like uh, well, that was Shiggy, Shiggy was the one who Shiggy, turned that like, into, and then OBJ and all these people started following. Exactly, but it wasn't like a Drake intent. This one was specifically a Drake intent. Exactly, I think that's that's the thing. Like maybe, and I was hearing Andrew's point of view on this. He was saying like, yo, if somebody. Um, his thought process was if he would have gave a dancer, like some type of dance, like, hey, look, you know, do the dance that I did to this and I'll retweet it or whatever. Right? That was his point of view. I don't agree with it either way. Cause I think either way, like this thing, like in the, in the, where we are right now at this time, this song is good for where we are at this yeah, time. Yeah. I mean, everybody's home. Everybody is doing TikTok. And we already mm-hmm. know TikTok's like ramping up out here. Yeah. So as far as the song goes, her, her point of view was the song's irrelevant. He's trying to be relevant at a time where he's not really relevant right now. Because he's not dropping nothing fresh, you mean? I, I guess that, that was her thing. I mean, there's a thing, but Drake will always be relevant. Drake is, so far, will go down in history as, I think, one of the GOATs as far as, like, the and, rap game goes. And you if don't you don't, so? No, no, I think oh, so. Okay. But if you don't like the taste, even Prophet is going to speak for the fact that he's made yes. more money than most people. Yes, I mean, it... it yeah, at the end of the day, man, look, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to get to. If you're not a Drake fan, if you don't like Drake, the numbers will speak for themselves yeah. at the end of the day anyway. And, and Drake understands so, the market. Let's be yeah. honest. Drake has floored the market. Like, for example, people were asking, and, and I think Bad Bunny's in the same boat now. People were asking, why would Drake, such a like renowned artist, drop a 20-song album? Yeah, It's because he's flooding the market. And so he's giving you the market share. Like, you want R- 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 R&B? Cool, he's R&B. Yeah. You want hip-hop? All right, cool, here's a couple bangers. Yeah. Oh, you want, you know, some s- driving music? Cool, here, I'm Drake. I do driving music. It, and so yeah. you he gives you 20 songs. You're bound to at least blow up the streams on some of those songs. He's making profit. Yeah. And he's also giving himself the percentage of, you know, his album's going to go platinum regardless because you have so many songs streamed. I mean, and l- like, like you said, too, I, at this point, we just have too much music. That's yeah. the thing. You get me? And it's it's like an overload, right? It's like an overload. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it it's it's a I don't want to say like paralysis of analysis mm-hmm. type of situation, but it's similar as in like, bro, you, you just have too much. Like for example, right now Drake could drop whatever a couple songs. This song now next week somebody drops like we completely forgot yeah, about Drake yeah. and now we're on to this. You get me? So and we have more access to the music, so you don't yeah. have to go to the music store buy a CD exactly. and and go home and listen to it. Exactly. No, now you pay ten dollars a month, so you're gonna add next. Maybe you'll listen to the whole album. Maybe you won't. And mm-hmm. uh, but let me ask you a question now. Yeah. If you were an artist 
should you drop new music now? Yeah. You don't think so? Yeah, I think for sure. Because you're home. Everybody's home. They're going to yeah. be streaming your songs and so make that, that money. Is that, you know, look, e- even even for, for me, right? Like, so there's a couple albums I haven't got to, right? J Electronica's album, I haven't heard. I want to hear it. Um, uh, Party Next Door's album, I haven't heard. I want to hear it. And then there's one more. Oh, and I heard The Weeknd's album was pretty good. I kind of want to hear that to see what, what's up with that. Those are all albums that dropped fairly recently uh, during quarantine. Some of them were de- definitely doing I don't think J Electronic was during quarantine, but... Uh, party next door. You yeah, know, party, like party next door was what two weeks ago. Yeah, like two weeks ago, and so was um the weekend. So those albums I kind of want to get to, but yeah, right now is definitely a good time to drop anything. Just in, look in general, right now is the time to do anything. Mm-hmm. Period. If it's if it's you wanted to start a podcast, well, right now is the perfect time to do it. If you want to start a blog, right now is the perfect time to do it because you just at home, you have all the time in the world. You mm-hmm. have all the res or I don't know all the resources, but you have well, you can take advantage resources. of the sales, right? Uh, but you have free resources here and there, anyways. You get me for you to get started. You get me again like we always talk about this started almost two years ago we started off with a phone a little stand the table yada 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 and then you know years later okay we got some mics yada yada you know it, it's still going on to, to an extent For the sure. point is that if you wanted to try something this is the moment this is the moment because first of all you don't know if the thing that you've been wanting to try you're gonna like anyways you get Big me that's, facts. That, that's very important yeah. you know there's a lot of times where like I'll put an example. There's a lot of times where I bought certain sneakers that I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to wear these all the time. And realistically, I wear them once, twice, leave them until eventually I don't wear them ever again mm-hmm. and I just sell them or something. Yeah, yeah. You, get me? you don't want to go buy all these equipment, all these things to like realize, I don't really enjoy doing this. I don't, I thought, you know, because yeah, start small. This. Yeah, exactly. And you know, a lot of times when we start something, we have, um, False this, expectations. Yeah, like I think we have like this vision in our head though of what it is. Like, like you might look at the glamour of somebody's podcast mm-hmm. or the glamour or the fame or something like that. Or, or, the, or the fact that they're bringing in like stars. But like, come on, dude, they're Ex- you know exactly. they're another level. Exactly. So you know, um, right now is just the time for you to do anything you wanted to do yep. in mass. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. just produce, drop like whatever it is, because. Bro, you have no choice. Everybody's trying to get entertained. Yeah, you yeah. I mean? I mean, like, we've had the mo the more, I guess, like, average out. We've averaged out way more listeners on the actual podcast than we normally do because people are home. We average... Uh, YouTube is still, like, around the same. You get me? But I understand it, though. You know, yeah. People are bored. People are trying to see. People are trying to understand. You get me? And I think that this is a perfect time for you to take advantage of 1, 2, 3, 10, 15 extra people who could support you. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or listeners or whatnot. And uh, yeah, so I think right now is like the perfect time for you to yeah. do something. Yeah. Create, do create, create, create. Yeah, right create. now is the time for you to start creating for sure, for sure. Yeah, um, I think that's fire, bro. I think yeah. it's important that you guys, uh, we're going to lose our minds if we just stay staring at the screen for no reason. So if you are going to stare at the screen, you know, make sure that it's because you're learning or you're putting something that you learned into action. Um, I saw somebody was learning like a new language and I'm like, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Like, uh, you could do Duolingo, you could do YouTube classes, you can do whatever, yeah. um, you know, do some zoom contacts conversations or whatever but you know make sure that our minds are still being challenged even if our bodies and honestly if your body's not being challenged because you don't want it to be because yeah. you can still work out in your own home as well mm-hmm. uh, i think that this is a perfect test for us to say you know am i really committed to that thing whether that's the gym like am i still really committed to the gym i'm gonna find a way to work out at home yeah. uh am i really committed to podcasting i'm gonna find uh you know better videos on how to light better how to speak better how to record better yeah. you know hacks on how to make things faster more efficient am i trying to be a good student you know get a get to class sign up for the yeah. zoom or whatever actually pay attention mm-hmm. um i think whatever it is make sure that this is the moment because i, I think we both share the sentiment that i don't see this ending in a couple of weeks. Yeah. I see this ending maybe in a month, month and a half. And by ending, I mean that we fly in the curve, that we, you know, get back to some kind of normalcy. Yeah. Uh, but I think this is exposing a lot of our, of the fact that, you know, normal life as we used to know it is no longer going to be it. For sure. And, you know, I, I like that you brought that, that point too because, you know, it's, it's two things you get out of this too. One is that realizing that, like, we probably, like, whatever you considered normal was not even normal to begin with, yeah. right? Um, a very important part I was watching Brilliant Idiots and it actually opened my eyes to think like, you know, America, right? Brags about this is the strongest economy, blah, 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 yada, 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 all this stuff, right? But yet it got taken down in less than two weeks, mm-hmm. right? And we've seen that all our lifestyles and all the things that we give value to got taken down in less than two weeks. Gone. And all these things, you know, because again, you've heard it before, you time and time again, you probably ignore it, but we're blessed in America. You, I mean, you live in America, bro. You go to all these third world countries and all this stuff that you're over here critiquing and, you know, 
and, and you're looking at that like, bro, how can you even live like that? But realistically, we're it's almost like we've been living this false reality, mm-hmm. right? And we've got this like check, this gut yeah. check now that's like, bro, look, you get me? And that, that's just what it is. And that's very important too. Like right now, I think is the greatest time for you to be self-aware too. Yeah. And for you to start realizing have like all these excuses that you've been making, right? Like, oh, I'm not fit or I haven't tried to get fit because I don't have enough money for a gym membership or I haven't started this because I don't really have the time to do it or I'm never home or whatever your excuse is. If you're still saying or trying to figure out another way around why you don't do what you yeah. want to do, that let that be a perfect moment mm-hmm. of self-awareness for you to understand like, oh, no, so it's not because yeah, I don't have enough yeah. money or enough time or because it's just me. It's just yeah, me. at this me? point, I've been my biggest obstacle. Exactly. So I hope that that's like an eye opener. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that kind of takes me to like a little bit of a segue that, that I kind of wanted to get into like discussion with you, which is something that we kind of hear constantly, right? Which is like the 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 quote like if i could do it you could do it right and a lot of people say that because you know say i'll give you an example right say i came from a super horrible circumstance uh single mother uh poverty welfare uh holes in my shoes all this stuff right and i made it to be this great Mm -hmm. thing right and that person will say you know you know if i can do it you definitely could do it because i came from worse circumstances Mm -hmm. right um i treated this out too not that long ago my question to that is is it really if you can do it we can do it too or is it that you don't realize that you had a gift the entire time or you were blessed the entire time or you were meant to do this the entire time so no not if you could do it i can do it too because maybe i don't know how to play football like you know how to play football i mean i've been putting in the work just as long as you have and i haven't made it but you have a natural talent or whatever right so i I feel like that phrase kind of needs to be swept out when we're communicating with people because i think that gives people kind of this false i don't want to say false hope because i think that hope is important but it gives people this false testament like that oh man like yeah like, like this person's doing this so maybe i can do it too it's like, nah, bro, like, we kind of need to start being a little bit more self-aware. Maybe you were chosen to be that. Maybe, like, that's part of your story. Because imagine this, right? Imagine you're born with a silver spoon. Mm-hmm. And we see this time and time again, right? You're born with a silver spoon in your mouth. And time and time again, you try to do something, and nobody's going to give you credit for it. Because, yeah. like, bro, your parents, yeah, and you yeah, came like from this. Everybody gave it to you. Like, the impact of your story isn't enough. Mm-hmm. But the impactful stories are those that are, like, yo, you came from the bottom. Against and all you odds. Grinded. Exactly. Yeah. And you came up. But what if that was your destiny anyways mm-hmm. to come yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, how, how, how would you know that? Like, what, what, are, your, yeah. what are your thoughts um, on that? I, I think there's a word that you said in there. Um, after hope, you said maybe. Mm-hmm. I think that's what hope is. Hope, in my opinion, is just a big maybe, a what if. You know, like, I won't give up because what if this works? You yeah. Know? I, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep working hard because maybe, just maybe, you know, this is my moment. This is my space. Um, and I think that when somebody says, you know, if I did it, you can do it too. What they're trying to offer to people is the ability to see just that what if, that maybe. Mm. Now, let's be honest. Not everybody's going to be Steve Jobs. Not everybody is going to be Michael Vick athleticism. Not everybody's going to be, uh, you name it, Isaac Newton, you know, Galileo or whatever other, you know, philosopher and, and scientist and mathematician you can think of, mm-hmm. right? But there is that one kid that has all odds stacked against him and still has the DNA of a champion yeah. in him. He still yeah. needs to see somebody that looks like him, that sounds like him, that mm. came from where he came from. Like in our case... You know, if, if somebody who with a silver spoon from a, an American uh, family comes from, you know, the Hamptons and says, you know, you guys can make it too, we're not identifying. Yeah. But, it, like, but yeah. If, if somebody like, uh, I don't know, you name it, uh, Gabriel Iglesias, uh, some Hispanic guy you look up to yeah. or whatever, uh, comes up to you and tells you, hey, man, you know, I know what it is to start from the bottom and, and mm-hmm. find something that you like and be successful. Uh, that gives you that, dang, you know, maybe I, I shouldn't give up. Yeah. Um, not everybody in has the natural ability. Not everybody has the natural opportunity or the natural gifting. But I think that as as leaders in any community, any space you lead, um, your job is to give somebody hope. Gotcha. And so if you're a leader in comedy, like a Kevin Hart, mm-hmm. you know, his job is like, hey, I came from Philadelphia. I came from nothing. Yeah. You can do it too. Gotcha. You know, uh, as an athlete, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, who came from poverty, is like, yeah. yo, I came from nothing. You can be the best too. Yeah. Um, obviously, the best is not just wanting it; it's working on it, it's putting the time, the work, that sacrifice, the blood, you know, that that investment, you know, putting all your chips on the table, yeah. all that stuff. But I think as leaders, in, in any space you lead, any space you have any kind of influence in, 
Um, and we're all leaders. You know, we all have some kind of influence, whether it's on your uh, big brother and a little brother or a parent on a child mm -hmm. or, or just in your own workplace or in your own home or in church or in school or whatever you want to name. We're all leaders, mm -hmm. right? Our job is to say, you know, I didn't get here on my own, but I worked and I, you know, I think you can do it too. Maybe, just maybe, if you work hard, you can also surpass and become whatever God created you to be or whatever you were meant to be. I think that that is important. Why I wouldn't want to swipe out that phrase. Yeah. You get me? Because gotcha. I think we need to to push each other to believe for bigger and better. Gotcha. Okay, so you you just feel like that that phrase in general just does give hope to people mm -hmm. then to yeah. be like, okay, I, okay, you know, and I I could I could see that like point of view for sure. But then how do you know when you call it a quit? Like how do you know when it's like, all right, bro? No, no, I, I think yeah, I think there's hope, and I think there's foolishness. Right? Hope is maybe just maybe. Foolishness is. Everything says no. Like, yo, I'm meant to be a center in the NBA, but yeah. I'm five ten ish. Gotcha, right? gotcha. Um, sorry, dog. Like that ain't it, you know. Yeah. And I think that a lot of times, uh, foolishness is accompanied by loneliness. Because mm -hmm. if you have friends, if you have people around you that you know can give you advice and give you counsel, that they're gonna be like, dude, um, you know, you have propensity, you have a gift for some other th areas. Focus on those areas, yeah. or, or you know, what keep pursuing this dream. It can't come true. Yeah, you yeah. Know? but like, come on, there's some like there's some hoop dreams, there's some NFL dreams that yeah. you don't have the body for it. No matter how much you want the heart and the mind and the defense and the struggle and the hustle, you are five foot three. Your vertical is three inches. Like yeah, yeah. you stuck, homie. There. But. Yeah. You have the heart, and that heart translates to other areas to where other you things. can become, you know, a manager, a supervisor in another in a job or whatever because mm -hmm. you work so hard and you're so driven, yeah. right? Like, stuff like that, I, I believe in firmly. So then would you say then that all of us have the champion DNA oh, yeah. in yeah, us? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, uh, Obviously, yeah, for me, everything goes back to a, to a spiritual background, right? For sure. But I think that, you know, God created each and every single one of us to have a special glory, a special, you know, thing that we bear, you know, his image. And so when, when you believe that, you believe everybody has untapped potential, mm -hmm. right? I think everybody is priceless. I think everybody has value. Everybody has skill. Everybody has something to bring to the table. Yeah. It's not always obvious, but it's always evident. Mm. You get me? So like, as, like sometimes some people are like, oh, yeah, when this person comes, they command the room. Awesome. That's obvious. But there's that one person that is like that gear. You know, you don't see the gear, but if that gear stops rolling, the rest Everything of the machinery stops. is gone. Yeah. And so I think that a lot of times... Uh, uh, you know, our job is to see in each other, you know, you got gifting, you got potential, you got calling, you got abilities, you know, yeah. put them to work. Gotcha. So how do you, how do you, so I've heard this before, right? Which is like, you know, don't, don't do what you love necessarily, but follow your gifts. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think we've heard this before. Um, how do you feel someone, especially in this time right now, can find their gift then to yeah. do what they've been. I, I think, you know. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I think yeah. for the most part, most of us know what we're better at and what we're worse at. You know, I don't say gifting necessarily because maybe your gift doesn't develop. You know, mm -hmm. we can develop it better or whatever. Yeah. But I, I think, for example, you know, I always joke about pastors. Like some people want to be pastors, but they're they don't even know how to speak in public. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like uh, it's like you, yeah, you that might not be it, boss man. Or yeah. maybe you'll grow out of that fear and you'll become an amazing spokesperson. Yeah. But, but. What are you doing to sharpen that gift? Because uh, and I think Kevin Durant says it best, right? Yeah. It says, uh, "Hard will be talent when talent, talent doesn't work hard." Yeah. Right. So I don't necessarily even tell people to pursue their. I wouldn't tell you pursue your gift. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, pursue your passion, mm -hmm. because sometimes you're passionate about things that you're not gifted in. Mm, you true. Know? And true. so you worked at it so hard that it eventually became something you were good at. Yeah. But it wasn't your gift. Uh, I, I can argue uh, someone like Tom Brady. Physically, we always look at Tom Brady, right? Yeah, that, don't look like, like first of all, last round. You're looking at this guy. You're not imagining a five-time Super Bowl champion, probably the best quarterback of all time. Mm -hmm. You might imagine him as a decent quarterback. You might imagine that he has some kind of potential, some kind of competitiveness. But yeah. you're not imagining the resume. Yeah. But he worked at his passion, mm -hmm. and so he overcame. The fact that he wasn't that athletic, the fact that he got, didn't have the strongest arm, yeah. blah, 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 right? And, and we see it all through, you know, stories and athletes and whatever and every, everything else, writers and you name it, is whatever you're passionate about, if you're willing to put in as much work as you feel passion, then you might see the fruit of your of your labor. And it might not be exactly how you imagined it, but it might open up doors for something else. Gotcha. Like I, I think about that, uh, this guy, Chris, uh, what is it, Brinkley? 
the the guy that trains all these NBA players in New York, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, so the younger guy, yeah, yeah. He's so, young, so he he wanted to be in the NBA, didn't yeah. work out. He yeah, became yeah. part of New New York Knicks development team. Now mm-hmm. he every NBA player comes to him to be trained. Yeah, yeah I know exactly. You get me? So yeah. he he got his dream. He's in the NBA. He's yeah. just not in the NBA the way he thought he would be. Right, but he's there. But he's there. I th- so you know, that's what I mean. And I think you actually made a really good point there. Like you know, we we kind of dim we kind of give value or like lesser value to certain things that we don't realize could be of huge value. Mm-hmm. Right. And you know, we see this all the time, especially now, I guess in this like social media age where we see things like, bro, like kid, like uh, example, right now we'll bring this back, but, um, the kid who made millions of dollars with the, sl- uh, with mm-hmm. the, with the yeah, toys yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Right. There we go. Now I talked the before unboxings. about, right. Uh, the unboxing toys. And you know, what I talked about before with kids making so, uh, so much money mm-hmm. off of just creating slime and stuff like that. Right. Like we see that, as like, bro, why are you wasting your time, right? Yeah. For example, your grandma probably told you, uh, your grandma and your parents at one point in your life told you, stop playing those video games, they're rotting your brain, you're never going to do nothing with them, blah, blah, right? You're and, a Fortnite champion now. And, exactly. Now we see kids making millions of dollars. And, you know, let's talk. Let's stop talking about millions of dollars, right? Let's start talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. You get me? A year, whatever. Mm-hmm. You get me? Like, making, playing video games. Yeah. You get me? So, yeah. At one point, it was something that was seen as like, bro, this is not going to take you nowhere, yeah, yada, yeah. yada, yada, yada. But now we see that, bro, it could take you everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and, and, and the thing is that you see that the world is changing. Um, I'll give you a perspective, right? Now, YouTube is a uh, YouTube business, right? Being an influencer is a thing. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, and so because we're living in that world, people are like, okay, it can happen. Now, imagine before this, right? Someone like Steve Jobs, someone like, uh, you know, Bill Gates. Yeah. These people left college to work in their garage i guarantee you their yeah. parents were saying you are tripping yeah um well, are, you, are yeah. you telling the ceo of microsoft or formerly this new york and i stepped down right that he made a bad decision are you gonna tell the you know the late steve jobs that he made a bad decision mm-hmm. you know we don't always have to follow the path because the world is changing mm-hmm. you know uh, i saw a tweet this week where uh this young man was typing uh you know this virus this situation is proving that your concept of a 40 hour week is trash mm, yep. you know and, and so i was like damn that's true because we were just talking about it too it's like you don't necessarily have to amount to eight hours to be effective to be a hard worker to yeah. be whatever you can do in two hours but some people can do in 10 yeah right but i think we all need to be able to look at the world and say the world is not how i always want it to be mm-hmm. so i have to adapt because you know you can become the next Fortnite. Not, not that I condone you playing twenty four hours a day. You can be the next slime maker and yep. be rich, or you can be the next podcaster. You know, you can be the next artist just because now you don't paint. Instead, you do a graphic design on a computer. Doesn't make you less of an artist. You know, yep. like the world is changing so much. These labels we used to know as artists or gamers or whatever don't longer pertain to anybody. Yep. You know, like. Uh, you know, you can leave a high school and go work in Silicon Valley and make a hundred K before any of us make a hundred K. Yeah. Because you just had that desire to learn technology and, and micro components and whatever. So I think that that's the nature of all of this. And and I think you're on a good roll there. I think that, you know, to give out some practical advice, I think, you know, for anybody, especially right now at these times, if you take if you separate an activity, right, out of your day, whether it's a weekend mm-hmm. or the weekday, right? And you give it time, right? Meaning you're investing your own time, right? Something that you don't get back. I think that you need to start looking into those things more, right? Because clearly those are things that you enjoy, yeah, exactly. I, w- I would yeah. assume, right? And especially the, like weekend stuff. And I will see how you can convert that into something that could that could be a little bit more productive. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So like, yeah. example, if you, if you love playing basketball, right? And all you do is play basketball, right? Then maybe you can look into coaching some type of little league team, or mm-hmm. I don't know. You get me yeah, something. Yeah. You get me do, do, doing some, maybe getting a, a a bunch of the guys together every mm-hmm. single weekend and start your own league or something yeah. like that, right? But to to be conducive to something that could be more productive, yeah, yeah. and you that might could've... be able to see that. Oh, maybe I create some type of living yeah, or some type yeah. of circumstance for myself through the things that I enjoy doing, right? Because I think that's where it always starts, yeah. right? If you enjoy something and you actually give it your time and you really like doing this and mm-hmm. nobody can understand why. You know, there's so many situations, right? Where, mm-hmm. like, for example, I have a friend, but he loves playing video games, right? And for the life of me, I can't understand how you can like playing video games so much that you will spend your whole day doing yeah. it, you know what I mean? But that's what that person enjoys. You get me? And so who am I to be like, yo, what I do is yeah. better than what you do. Yeah, no, yeah, it's just, not. that's what you enjoy doing. It's a different thing. Yeah. Right. And, you know, so I think that right now, 
start to analyze so what is what are the things that you mm-hmm. like doing what are the things that you enjoy doing and yeah. how can you and if you don't want to like make them more productive you like them just how they are cool keep them just like that you get me but now if you're somebody searching for maybe a little bit more yeah, yeah. maybe you want to get to something more mm-hmm. well then that's your way right yeah. there you get me? i think that you start to look at those little things and you never know in a year from now two years from now 10 years from now it might be something yeah, yeah it's like uh you know you still like flipping shoes yeah stock x you know yeah. like you ever thought stock x could be what it is and now that I, and i was watching the interview with a ceo right he's like no we just we were trying to do what we love to do in mm-hmm. a more effective way yeah and, and so you know those are like the kind of examples you can build is like yo if you really find what you love to do and find a way to make it marketable to make it attractive to others to make it profitable then you found it your passion and you made it a job exactly. right and and so not to cut you off either, no, you're but good. in that same element right at StockX, you might be like well yeah but StockX is already big okay well let's let's let, let's zimmer it down right so you know we were all into mm-hmm. this when we were kids right so as kids what we used to do was okay so we have the internet so we have access to that but before that like if you want to look before that what people used to do was they used to have to go to the stores yeah and and, and this out. was before internet and stuff like that, right? Like, like people used to say, like, yo, in the eighties, nineties, don't have to go to the store and see what's mm-hmm. new on the wall. Yeah. You get me? And if you have money for it, then you could afford to buy, right? Now come back to our time. What we used to do was, yo, we'll put stuff on Craigslist. We'll mm-hmm. put stuff on. But people started Facebook groups, right? The probably the yeah, biggest yeah. Facebook group for shoes, shoes and holes, right? Yeah. Which I mean, like. Again, it started as a Facebook group yeah. and it's still active till today. Yeah, yeah. I still get I still get notifications. Exactly, <laughs> right? So you don't have to be a dunk exchange yeah, or yeah, yeah. a sneaker con, mm-hmm. right? Which is like these huge yeah. human the conventions, events yeah. and stuff like that. Right? You could you could start off small. Yeah. You could make your own because yeah. it's not just StockX. It's, it's StockX. Flipping, it's, gold, it's, flipping, it's grail, yeah. right? Like yeah. so you might have that next platform. Who knows? Because right? you have a passion for shoes and you understand their market value, you understand their retail value, you understand exchanging and trades and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. But all of that comes from what you love to do. Uh, and and so that's our encouragement to you guys is you know why not love why not do what you love to do and get paid for it yes you know but if you don't cool you still love to do it you didn't lose anything like exactly. that's it you know it's yeah. a win-win either way exactly yeah because you're doing something that you truly yeah. enjoy doing and that's, just, that's basically what it comes down to so um that's i guess like that little bit of advice right yeah. for like uh for anybody who's like out there just yeah. trying to figure it out and trying to see like yo what can i do during these times and if this for somehow gets to you then take this as a sign i was like oh man yeah. maybe i should you know try to up my game you know exactly. what i mean so for sure man um you got anything else to add yeah. You, you have any I'm down moments and I'm down uh, well, moment of the month? We though. have an I'm down moment, but I'm not going to tell you guys because if I tell you guys, then you guys are going to want to see it. Uh, but <laughs> okay. we are, when my hair grows longer and depending on the situation continues, we are going to cut my hair on I'm down. Okay. Fatima's going to trim my hair on I'm down okay. if my hair gets longer. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Cool, so cool. that's gonna be that's the thing. Be down we're gonna do an I'm down live moment so you guys can be partaking of my failure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says failure. Uh, look for myself, uh, no, I don't have an I'm down moment as of now because we have not been able to, to do, do anything. anything. Yeah, uh, what, one thing I will say though, I do look forward to, um, maybe uh, hopefully this year, maybe a, a, a trip or two, right? Let's for see sure, how things get sure. down. Um, we still don't know how this corona thing is gonna affect mm-hmm. because you know, one thing I think that's kind of like. Like you said, we that normal really won't no, exist. Won't. I don't think you so. I mean? I don't Even think so. after this corona, there's still gonna be like there's still gonna be a lot of people that are like eh, maybe I don't wanna fly right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe mm-hmm. I wait till next year, right? Or like maybe I don't wanna really be mm-hmm. out there right now. Yeah, I wanna yeah. vibe out exactly. and see how it goes for everybody mm-hmm. else. You get me? So it's still gonna be kinda wobbly this year for sure, but um we'll definitely keep you guys updated again. Um is May May is it May first, right? That is gonna be our like yeah, official, official two year. Supposed to, like, we started yeah. towards the end of April, right? So I mean again, it's been two years later. I'm still enjoying doing these things. Um I love doing this so yeah. far. It's super fun. Um it's right here and it's also with you guys, especially yeah. when you guys interact with yeah, us. Yeah. So once again, when you guys ask the questions or yeah, comments or whatever. For sure. It's dope. Um again, man, I appreciate you guys for listening. We thank you guys for watching. If you're in this quarantine, we're all in this this crap together. Yeah. So, you know, um hopefully we get through it, man. You know, God willing, right? So once again, man, if you watched and you thought we we're dumb and you thought everything that we said was ignorant, was belligerent, was give me more big words, guy. Uh for synonyms. Mm-hmm. Sentence for dumb. Okay. Uh, I don't know. You, I, I got, got, <laughs> <laughs> All right. But if you did watch this, then you're like, you know what? These guys are kind of funny. These guys are a little inspirational. These guys maybe want to do something. We appreciate you guys once again. <laughs>